think probably the start. Uh, obviously, our last three games out, not a very good uh, start. Um, the boys were skating and uh, it's accumulated with some finishes in the first and. Outside of some, uh, probably some sloppy puck play, maybe a little bit in the second there, uh, pretty complete game. Um, and just good point. It's just urgency in our game. We know if we're going to stay in this battle and even get above that line in the end, we will need every single point. And we've got two today. Do you think of kind of your team's response to their timeout? That's something that they were trying to use to kind of obviously settle things down. And yeah, I like, yeah. like, yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't. The timeout's a weird thing. Today's day and age with three TV timeouts, um, I don't know how often it gets used, uh, but I like the response uh, there. So, um, yeah, of course, we, we, we know we're probably going to get a push after a timeout, but um, I guess did a good job responding to that. David, how important is it when you build that big lead to keep maintaining that commitment to defensive to hold yeah. the one goal? Well, it was the message after the first and that our offense actually came from checking. You know, we turned some some defensive zone stops into some odd mans that obviously we finished on. So, uh, yeah, complete game uh, from the group. Um, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. You usually get your offense by you know, keeping it out of your net, uh, playing the right way. Your Vegas uh, your Vegas line got some love on the national broadcast <laughs> today. And people said, oh, hey, you, you, Kevin Weeks was saying they should really start paying attention more to this team. To do this on a national stage today, I mean, obviously everyone across the league is keeping yeah. an eye on what everybody's doing, but do you feel like you guys not necessarily made a statement, but put some teams on awareness? Uh, no, I don't know about that. It's just playing, we're in a stretch of playing some really good hockey, and I just think it's more about uh, when you're peaking in your game, um, take advantage of it, and we're doing that right now. There will be some ups and downs. <laughs> Ahead, um, but you know, we're in a really good spot right now, and hopefully we can keep uh, keep riding this. Just a coincidence that the uh, offensive coordinator of the Lions is here to sound the bullhorn horn in your offensive. <laughs> well, that was good. We could we could use some good karma there. I like that. The Lions probably have we'll probably credit them with good six eight points this year. <laughs> Got to thank them. Derek, when you win games in different fashions, like today's obviously being way different than Thursday's or in Seattle, what does that say about the group's finding? I think some maturity in the group. You know, I mentioned it the other day, you know, finding ways to win. Um, one good sign I really liked in the second, we were up 4 nothing. We had that string of some sloppy turnovers. We had a little bit of a frustrated bench. And to me, looking back, watching that, it's, that's a good sign. You know, just you're... Uh, holding yourself accountable on your play, not what's on the scoreboard. But that's, that's what I've preached since I've gotten here. Uh, today, it just happened to go our way on the scoreboard. You guys are now 16, 15, and one against current playoff teams. What does that tell you about how much you've grown from maybe where you were last season? Uh, I didn't know that stat. Uh, that's, uh, at least that's positive. Again, I th really think it's just about us and playing our game and when we're doing that, you know, we can be competitive with, with anyone. Uh, so, again, it's just about us and doing the right thing. Derek, tomorrow's game in Chicago. Will the Red Wings be in the room or on the bench for the Chelsea? That's a good Center? question. Uh, do we play in Chicago now? <laughs> we're playing Chicago now? Yeah, I think it, yeah. I honestly don't know. It's something, you know, I, I do live, you know, it sounds like a cliche, I do live in the moment. So, so I don't know, but I'm ex selfishly ecstatic about tomorrow. Such an honor to be a head coach in this league. You rarely get uh, nights and moments like that. Uh, with Chelly, obviously retiring, and then Patrick going home. Uh, I'm going to be a very excited uh, viewer of that uh, on the bench. So, uh, but just like we talk to the guys, uh, manage our emotions, stay on task. Because again, we are going to need every single point throughout 82 games and as great of a moment tomorrow's going to be it's an opportunity for some points and we have to play as such. It doesn't seem like someone who minds the, the big moment but it's obviously he spent a lot of time there. What do you expect from, from him in a game like that? He's such a competitor I think a, a big time <coughs> game. Uh, you know, I was talking with Kevin Lynch before the game I think he thinks he's 23 again. He wants every Ozone face off. <laughs> he wants. He, I think he was shocked he didn't play the entire overtime uh, and bypass him for some other guys. It's really just that's how competitive he is. So um, I think he'll just perform 
like he's done throughout his entire career. Uh, what that will look like, I don't know. Um, I think we're going to be a really motivated, good Chicago team. Watching them back last night, um, they were pretty darn good. Probably deserved two full points against Winnipeg. Would you have ever guessed that not only he has been playing like this, but three games in a board or anything that when he got here, just no, what no, you would have all the things that have impressed me with him is where he is physically is probably number one. And again, I think that's a credit to him, his approach, uh, to take care of his body. Um, uh, again, credit to him and his professional approach. Just even today's game, do you ever think about the fact that obviously you've got the lead and if you're rolling guys, do you at all think about we have a back-to-back -back, we keep them in for tomorrow? Even win or, win or lose, yeah. you know, I'm thinking it's just it's the way the league is. You get these tough back-to-back -back sometimes. I think you have to play a little bit for six periods. Um, and we had, uh, we're fortunate enough to do that even more, obviously, with our lead. With Kane and Debrinket, the feel that they seem to have for each other, Kane and Debrinket, is, is that a unique level of chemistry? That I think so, I think so. But again, when I think, when they're when they're playing, they're they're going to get space to play. They're world class. The creativity, how they think the game, is very elite. Uh, I'm never going to take that away from them. But they will get sometimes in their game where they get really loose, and they end up. You've seen it time together. And they've spent some extended time in their D zone, which isn't productive on what they do, and that's make plays offensively. So I think it's a credit to them. Uh, again, when they're just having some good habits in their game, they're not turning pucks over, they're helping out in the D zone, they're getting those rush looks, they're getting those ozone touches, so of course I think there's a chemistry to what they do, but um, when they do it correctly too, um, it can be very effective. The Brinkett's goal scoring can be somewhat streaky, when, when pucks do go in for him, do you notice anything different in his game that yeah, it's allows great. that to I think he, he's, he's had some really some really bad puck luck of late. You know, even my daughter was like, he hits the post every time, Dad. <laughs> Not every time. Uh, but again, a goal scorer like that, uh, when he's getting those looks constantly, is the good sign. You know, could we be sitting here with a little more puck luck for him? Could he be sitting here with 27, 28, 30 goals? Of course. But as, as long as he's been consistently getting those looks for a goal scorer, I think it's positive. Do you get family feedback? Yeah, I do get a lot of feedback. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Thank you.